Grizzly Creek Lodge in Camp Snoopy. We're starting our food journey today of trying every dining plan item. This is the Chipotle, Jen's like, oh no I'm not. <laughs> uh, this is the Chipotle Chicken Toasty. It's a grilled chicken with a Chipotle, maybe aioli or some sort of mayo on there, bacon, tomato, comes with french fries. And then they also have the Mexican street corn pizza. And I had to wait for both, so they should be both hot and fresh. She just made the pizza. Both of these items are available for individual purchase, or if you have an all day or all season dining plan, you can check these out. Here we go, let's give this a try. The Chipotle Chicken Toasty. Or right off the bat, the bacon's delicious. And the bread's nice and toasty and buttery. Haven't gotten to the chicken yet. And we're all splitting this stuff. So if you're like, how do you eat all this? There's three of us. Jen's eating 90% of it, and Nick and I are taking maybe a bite. Mm. Oh, this is good. There's cheese on there. Mm. This is really good. Nick, do you like it? Yeah, I do like it. Jen, has, Jen is eating the pizza, so we'll get her opinion on that. This one is a winner. Chipotle Chicken Toasty, for sure. Only location, Grizzly Creek Lodge. Mexican street corn pizza. It looks like there is probably mayonnaise on it. Is that mayo? Yeah. Mayo, onions, bacon, and corn. And it's an Alfredo sauce. Oh, is it Alfredo? I think so. Oh, well, maybe oh, let me see crema. what it is. A crema? I've been wearing... I've been wearing this shirt for less than a half an hour and there's already food on. Typical. So from Sutter's, this is the chocolate bacon burger. It's got chocolate bacon on there, some jam, and a cheeseburger, and we got it right here at Sutter's. This is gonna be amazing. So from the Calico Saloon, Jen grabbed the Snickerdoodle Stout. This right here, also from the Calico Saloon, is the Blackberry Mint and Cucumber Spritzer. It is blackberries, mint, cucumber, and gin. Mixed together for a refreshing cocktail. Also on the peanut celebration menu is this apple cider sangria from the Calico Saloon. So while we have almost 17 entrees to try, Jen and Nick went straight to the saloon <laughs> and, le and left me to the burger. is going to be first to dig into this. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It's a little messy, but the chocolate is melting with the jam and you've got the bacon and the cheese. I would, I would get this again. I think it's delicious. From Prop Shop Pizza, this is the chicken parmesan stromboli, and this is actually the only item that is not on the meal plan that we are trying today, but boy, this looks good. And I actually just cut it open so you can see inside. It does come full, and it just came out of the oven. Here we have the carnitas and pineapple and jalapeno pizza. Here we have the spicy sausage rigatoni. This all smells really good. Spicy sausage rigatoni and bolognese? Bol bolognese, yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, that has a kick, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's really tasty. That's really good. Now, since I have the camera out, here's a bite of the chicken parmesan stromboli. Not on the dining plan. Oh, that's really good too, and it's loaded with chicken. I'm trying to do this and not get anybody in the picture, but it's so crowded, it's kind of hard to do that. 
This pizza's really good too. It's got a kick. It's a barbecue sauce with the jalapenos on there. The carnitas and the pineapple kind of offsets the spiciness of the jalapeno. It actually worked really, really well. We waited a little while for the uh, stromboli to come out, so the pizza's not as hot as it would be if we had first got it, but this is very, very tasty. This is one of their better... Pineapple down. <laughs> From Wilderness Broiler, we've got the Thai curry fries, so it's a chicken satay with Thai curry and a peanut sauce, and I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. Also from Wilderness Broiler are the mac and cheese bites, and the sign says while supplies last. So if you want these, hurry up. <laughs> it's the curry they've used before that's delicious. The peanut sauce is a little bit of spice. It's like chicken breast. Very good. I don't need the fries, but the chicken is delicious. Yes, yeah, so I would say this is a good one too. Wagon Wheel Pizza. This is the Carnitas Pineapple and Jalapeno Potato. So this is similar to the pizza that we had from Prop Shop, but it is a potato. Like, I wish you could see how heavy this thing is. <laughs> it's like the size of my face. Look at us. <laughs> to be honest, we've eaten so much food today that we're actually going to give this potato away to our friend Janice Yum. <laughs> Janice Yamanaka. <laughs> So make sure you watch our channel. So we're just doing one bite, then we're gonna give it away. But I got the potato in there, the pineapple, and the carnitas, and the sauce. And I did have a jalapeno, but it fell in my lap. Mmm. So you got the potato Yeah. Oh, the carnitas is really soft and tender. The barbecue sauce, I think it's the same sauce as the pizza. The jalapenos give it a little bit of a kick. And the mashed potatoes are really good. <laughs> So either get the potato or the pizza, but I will say it's for the value, the potato is like 10 times the slice of the pizza. You could easily share that probably between two people if you needed to. So that is at Wagon Wheel Pizza. That's select days only. Wagon Wheel Pizza is across from the exit of Ghost Rider. So if you want that, I believe it's Saturdays and Sundays only, and maybe if there's a holiday or something in there too. From Calico Tater Bites, we've got pepperoni pizza tater tots. And I already snuck a pepperoni on the way back, it was good. And then vegetarian, we've got the sweet chili tofu tater bites. I have dropped everything, let's see. Mm. The pepperonis are good. I saw them bring out the tray, so they baked the pepperonis like a pizza. And then they put them on top with the mozzarella. We call that pepperoni. <laughs> Here's the sweet chili tofu. Delicious pizza. Not usually a huge fan of tofu, but those are really good. So if you're looking for a vegetarian item, and those pepperoni pizza. Available at several different locations throughout the park, the three different funnel cake locations, is the cornbread funnel cake with pulled pork and honey. So it looks like a honey and barbecue sauce. Now our friend Wilf over in the foods department stopped me earlier and said I had to try this today. He was very excited, so let's give it a, let's give it a shot here. We've eaten a lot of food today, so there is no way we're going to finish this. But we'll try it and see what it tastes like. Oh yeah, it totally tastes like cornbread. And the pulled pork is really good. And the honey, oh that's pretty tasty. So this is not on the dining plan. And I don't know if you'd consider it an entree or a dessert, but that's definitely shareable between probably two to three people, if not more. The funnel cake is delicious. It's like perfectly cooked, tastes just like cornbread. And the pulled pork just by itself is really good too, so it's a really good combination. Maybe, I'm gonna ask for the pork on the side. 
Yeah, maybe as for the pork on the side, with the funnel cake and eat it kind of like a pulled pork meal with like a cornbread. But all the ingredients, the sauce is really good, the cornbread is, the funnel cake is good, and the pork is pretty good. So this is available at all three of the funnel cake locations. Jen left a little while ago. Nick is heading out. The park doesn't close for another five hours. But. Lucky you. <laughs> so out of the items that we've had, there are still a few items I need to try at, at uh, Coasters and Boardwalk Barbecue. But of what we've had so far, what were your favorites? The rigatoni was delicious. Um, surprisingly, the tofu. Uh, the sweet chili sweet tofu. Chili tofu was really good. Um, the funnel, the uh, cornbread funnel cake. Yeah. That is, that, I would order that, though, with uh, full pork on the side. So and you, then just, yeah, you have a meal, a meal and dessert with that. Yeah, you could probably split that, have the funnel cake on the side, cut it into pieces like a cornbread, and then yeah. eat the pulled pork. Yeah, and that was really the, good. Uh, chipotle chicken toasty. The toasty, yeah. We started that this morning at 10 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't waste any time with that. This is the Cubano burger, Cubano panini burger from Coasters. This, I think, is the best thing we've eaten all day. It is a hamburger on a kind of like a brioche bun with ham. I think there's like pork on there or something. There's sliced ham and pork and cheese and like mayo and onions. This is the most delicious thing I have eaten all day. I wish we had started with this because I am so stuffed. You have no idea. And if you're wondering, did we really do this all in one day? Yes. It is like six o'clock now. <laughs> the sun is set and we're still eating. And I also got the shrimp and avocado salad from Coasters, which I'll show you in just a minute. All we have left is the boardwalk barbecue and we're done. <laughs> but this, a must. I forgot to mention it also has pickles and it gives it that perfect tang. Mm. The shrimp and avocado salad was very tasty. The shrimp were nicely seasoned and has a perfect option. If you're looking for something lighter, and from the Boardwalk Barbecue, the mashed potato and rotisserie chicken casserole with gravy ended up being one of my top three favorite items of the day. So check that out at Boardwalk Barbecue. Now my very last item of the night is the tomato soup. It's supposed to have croutons, but I don't know if they were out, but this is from the Ghost Town Bakery. Let's try it. And this is, now I'm done for sure. Oh, that is pretty good. It almost tastes like a tomato sauce, like a pizza sauce. Yeah. Very oregano-y. Yeah, that's pretty good. And it's really cold tonight, so that hits the spot. We're gonna wrap this video up here in the Camp Snoopy Theater. Opening day of the Peanut Celebration 2023 runs daily through February 26th. Some events, activities, and food locations are only open on select days. So check the Knott's Berry Farm website and app to see what's available on what days and what food is available throughout the week. Everything was absolutely delicious. I know we did a halfway mark with uh, Nick earlier. Now that the day is complete, we've almost had two dozen items, my favorites. We're still that chocolate bacon jam burger from Sutter's, that was amazing. That Cubano burger from Coasters, a must, must try. The uh, mashed potato rotisserie chicken casserole from Boardwalk Barbecue, you have to try that. That was really, really good. Um, every item we had at Prop Shop Pizza was delicious. Can't complain about any one of those. I would get all of those again. Just everything today was really good. Uh, everything we had, that baked potato, the pizzas. So you can't go wrong, no matter what you purchase. And everything's available all a cart, or if you have an all season or all day dining plan, you can check that out. So if you have any questions about the menu, ask us down in the comments. If you've tried them, tell us what you think. If you wanna know a little bit more about one of those items we ate today, go ahead and ask away. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell, make sure it's turned on. And then follow us on social media at The Funnel Cake Blog on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thanks a lot for watching.